And hello once again everybody, Seth Cole here and welcome to Talladega No Walls Repaved as we get ready for the continuation of the 6th Annual NSRA Royal Rumble Race. Six drivers have managed to survive the first segment and we'll move on to segment number two, the most notable of them, Stephen Paul III, who's been able to survive since entry number six. Austin LaPlante is still in this at entry number 11. Anthony McCrory still in since entry number 13, and then James Shelley, Carter Baker, and Elijah Gordon are still in after late entries at 17, 18, and 20. They're getting ready to see if they can survive here. 20 more drivers will enter at segment number 2. We're about to go down now trackside, find out who entry number 21 will be as we get ready to get segment 2 of the Royal Rumble underway. So as we begin the second segment, the second quarter of the Royal Rumble, entry number 21 will be the CarQuest number 84 Chevrolet of Callum Wood. Joining me here for this segment is going to be none other than Thrash Maniac 99, Levi McIntyre. And Levi, of course, a big amount of pressure for you, knowing that you're not going to be in entries 21 through 40, so you're going to be in the second half of this field. So we got seven cars on track here, six rolling over from the first quarter. And of course, a couple of the big stories has been Stephen Pollard III. He's been in since entry number six. Austin the Plant in since entry number 11. So they're doing a good job of surviving so far. Yeah, so far we shall see how long they last. Whoa, they got a little antsy there in Whoa. three. Stephen oh. up there, rim right. Oh, and Stephen's eliminated. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, and there goes Carter Baker. And out of, oh, man, Stephen Pollard the third. out of all the things that could happen to him, he eliminates himself. Man. Oh. Damn it, Pollard. <laughs> Boy, that is tough. I mean, just comes in here after surviving the majority of the first quarter, and he's out. Carter Baker is also out. That's going to leave us with five, and now our sixth driver will come onto the racetrack. That's going to be the 23, or not the 823, the 83, rather. Wrong BK racing car of A.J. Davidson. But, boy, that is a tough break there for Pollard. Yeah, that was tough for him. Well, now all I got to say about Steven is that he is definitely a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Calum oh, Wood. That was McCrory. Now... Boy, it borderline for the 84. I think McCurry definitely was eliminated. I don't know about the 84. Get a look here. And no, I think the 84 still had his tire on the yellow line. Yeah, that, was, you know, that is as close as you can get. Exactly. It's all down to inches in this race. And so Anthony McCurry, he's gone. Eliminated by Callum Wood. Want to make note, Stephen Pollard the third. Longest amount of time. Whoa! Elijah Gordon almost eliminated. He was able to just barely stay in bounds. But uh, Stephen Paul with the third longest amount of time in the Royal Rumble so far. 15 rounds for him. So quite a performance. But unfortunately, he will not be making it into that final 10 lap segment. As we get now entry number 23. And that's going to be the 24 of Kyle Matthews. Man, Kyle. We'll see what he can do here. Is also worth mentioning, Anthony McCurry was eliminated by Callum Wood. He survived nine rounds here in the Rumble. And we're about to have a big bunch of cars on track again. Still six drivers, and that's when the action usually takes place. They can handle it with two or three drivers, but when there's a lot of them out there, that's when they really start concentrating on eliminations. Yes, indeed, and they don't want to get caught up on that very, very high line and eliminate themselves. You know, I was looking at that whole thing that with Stephen Pollard the third, and I was thinking maybe there was tire wear that might have been a problem. I mean, he's been in since entry number six, but we were under red flag conditions between this first segment and the second segment we're currently in, so they had time to be able to change tires and everything. Whoa, so that wouldn't have been a factor. Up there. Oh, and they keep it together. Whoa! Little contact there. AJ Davidson getting a bump from Elijah Gordon. Whew. Couple Toyotas not exactly working together, but like we've said. There's no friends in this, and Austin the Plant gonna go down there on the apron, but they, they already crossed the stripe, so he doesn't get eliminated in that case. And that'll bring in entry number 24, and that'll be the Husky Dodge of Max Neuer. Mm. So we got seven cars on track now. And that is an interesting looking car. It is. Not even Especially sure. that number style. I don't have a clue what that's based off of, what number set or what. 
So now seven drivers is they're gonna start to fan out here. The two trouble spots appear to be off of turn two and off of turn four. And as soon as I say that, there goes Max Newworth. Another car spun around there. I couldn't tell who that was. Oh, it's that's James Shelley in the zero fourteen. Oh man, she Not Shelley. Shelley, who was in the first quarter segment, entry number seventeen is out, and Laplante is gone. Holy crap, and he's going for a wild ride. A Holy wild crap. ride for sure. And how ironic, I mean, two drivers who had survived a good portion of the first segment end up eliminating themselves. Pollard a couple rounds ago, and now LaPlante. Yeah, and here's what LaPlante was thinking while he was taking that ride. <laughs> I don't think he had time for that reaction. No, probably not. So now our next entry comes in, and that's going to be Ethan McDowell in the number 12. So a lot of the drivers who had survived segment 1 very quickly eliminated. Pollard out, LaPlante is out, McCrory is out, and now James Shelley also eliminated. Yep. Also worth mentioning that Shelley's elimination, as well as Max Neuwirth, went to Callum Wood. So he's already up to three eliminations, as he also had eliminated Anthony McCrory earlier on. Wow. So far, so good for him. So now Ethan McDowell, he's making his debut into the Royal Rumble, as is a number of drivers here. As a matter of fact, out of all five of these cars on track, only one of these drivers has been in a previous Royal Rumble, and that's Kyle Matthews. Yep. Looks like they're going to give each other lots of room here, so looking good so far. Looks like these guys will all move on to the next round, and that would bring in our sixth driver on track, which of course is usually the bad number at this race. Yep. And Illuminati confirmed. Yes, indeed. And they're all going to survive. So that brings in entry number 26. And that will be John Acosta in the number 21. John Acosta, a uh, former Snickers Cup Series chaser, but this is nothing like a chase race. And Look I'm going to take I'm going to take a guess he's Ryan Acosta's brother. And that's exactly right. Oh, really? Yep. His and brother Speaking of the Acostas, uh, yeah, his brother Ryan so far in the Walmart Cup series having a pretty up and down rookie season for himself, but we'll see how his brother does here in the Rumble. Yeah, we're going to see Ryan Acosta at some point in this Rumble as well. He's also entered in and looking right there. Oh boy, wow, that's an onboard. Wow. That was oh an on my gosh. Look at that, that was an onboard with the 30 car. Oh my gosh. And he apparently survived, but Matthews is off. Davidson is off. Pretty much everybody except two cars. Yeah, McDowell right. and John Acosta and Callum Wood and Elijah Gordon were the only two to make it there. We jumped to an onboard with the 30 and immediately some people get eliminated. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Either that or we got great camera working, guys. That's that's one or the other. It looks like next entry at number 27 will be Eric Burton. So as soon as we ended up having round after round of five, six drivers, we're now down to only three drivers here to begin round 27. Oh, and maybe not. Oh, there oh. goes Burton. Burton, that has got to be the shortest time. Oh, ever. my goodness. I think that is the shortest time so far in this Rumble, and that takes me back to last season when Jessica Villanueva, I don't remember who it was, but she eliminated someone right at the start-finish line in that Rumble. Oh, my goodness gracious. Did you say that that is the Santino Morella of this Rumble? I think it is. I <laughs> think it definitely is the Santino Morella, and Callum Wood apparently is Kane. Yeah. Yeah, and then Eric will be like, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready at all. Oh, look at this. Callum was trying to eliminate Elijah Gordon. Oh, wow. Wow, he almost did. He's an eliminator machine right now, is Callum Wood. That was his fourth elimination in this rumble. Oh, man, Callum's pulling off a Jessica Villanueva here. He definitely is. I'm trying to see what the record is so far in this rumble and I think that right now he is tied with Pichu London at four eliminations for the most so far in this event. Who we got next? Gonna be Blaine Keys in the number 75 at entry number 28 so now we're gonna have again three drivers on track let's see if maybe this time they can keep it together. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we, thought, we thought they were going to last round but Burton was quickly eliminated. Yep. 
And they're going to fan out there and give some space. So this looks, at, at least for the moment, good. But looks can be deceiving. Off turn two can look good, and then they're all over each other in turn three. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at this. Elijah Gordon's actually the last driver out of the first 20 entries that's still running in this thing. Came in at entry number 20. Yeah. Everybody else that had survived from the first quarter segment is out of the rumble. And Callum Wood! Yikes, that was close. Yeah, that was close. I thought he was going to pull off a LaPlante and a Pollard there. <laughs> and you know, speaking of Eric Burton, he probably did this while when he got eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> he probably pooped his pants because it caught him by the off guard. That probably was LaPlante after the barrel roll. Yeah. So now next entry comes in, so we'll have four cars on track, and it will be the Thunder, William Duncan, at entry number 29. Better hope that Jessica Shell doesn't pop up in this rumble. He's probably saying, You want thunder? Kachika! Kachika! Oh Whoa! no! There goes Elijah Gordon and Duncan! I don't know! I don't know uh, if he's think, out or I not. I think he still had his left rear. He tire might have. Might, yeah, he, I think you're right. He might have had that left rear still on the yellow line, but Elijah Gordon, the last of last quarter segments drivers, is out. Wow. And here's a look at it in slow motion. We're going to look at this frame by frame to see if indeed William Duncan is still in this thing. Look at him on the brakes, trying to keep it from going down beneath that yellow line. If a Goodyear tire goes below, he is done. And... Oh, I think he's still in. I think he hit reverse just at the right time. Yeah, that, that is impressive. That is really impressive. That is, you said before, it's as close as it gets. I think that was even closer. Oh, definitely. Man, so William Duncan, by a, I would say maybe a quarter centimeter, is still in this thing. Elijah Gordon eliminated, and next up, well, here comes the other of the Acostas. Ryan Acosta in at entry number 30. So he won't be able to battle with his brother John, who was recently eliminated. Mm -hmm. It's also worth mentioning that uh, John Acosta actually was officially eliminated by Elijah Gordon. As far as the other drivers that went off track, their eliminations ended up going credited to the 83 of A.J. Davidson. That included uh, Kyle Matthews and Davidson himself. So... Hmm. William Duncan still in this thing, barely. Blaine Keys, Callum Wood, who's been eliminating a number of drivers trying to break the record so far today and get his fifth elimination. And the new entry, Ryan Acosta, as William Duncan got a little high off that corner. Yeah. And you know what Austin LaPlante was also thinking whenever he was going upside down? Right when he got in the air, he thought, oh, f my ass. <laughs> This is a family-friendly video, Levi. <laughs> Not <laughs> hence, anymore. Hence the censor. Oh, boy. Next entry at entry number 31 will be James Silverfox, the U.S. Army Chevrolet. No surprise there that his sponsorship is U.S. Army, but there you go. Lovely. <laughs> so James Silverfox in at entry number 31, and we are already halfway through this second segment. And, of course, a big part of that is because of the uh, NSA mandate this season where they only complete one lap as opposed to two. That pretty much due to the fact that there are 80 entries in this field. The biggest Royal Rumble there's ever been was only 50 drivers. So this is definitely a lot larger than what we're used to having in an event with a lot more entries. Yep. So at this point... Silver Fox. Yeah, getting close up there to the outside line. They can make it work as long as they don't get the two tires off the racetrack. If they get it off the racetrack, then they're trouble. Bling Keys got down there on the apron a little bit, but didn't go beneath the yellow line. And all five of these drivers will move on to the next round and take on the next entry at number 32. Let's see who that's going to be. And it's going to be the number three, Michael Norman, who actually was uh, in the booth with me for segment one. Let's see what he was able to learn from watching the, and observing the drivers in segment one. What he can apply here in this second segment here. Coming in at a fairly good entry at number 32. 
Yeah, as long as you get a good uh, spot towards the end of the rumble, you could be in good hands, but there are no guarantees in this type of an event. And he's, of course, running the tribute to Paul Walker on his number three, and this is definitely an event where you do have to be fast and furious. Mm-hmm. That was probably a lame pun, but I don't care! <laughs> yeah, who cares? <laughs> So now six drivers on track, and we remember what happened the last time there were six drivers on track. We were left with only two coming to the start-finish line, so this may not be good. Let's see if they can keep it together here. Oh, Duncan. Duncan again. That's like the third time that he's gone up there, and oh, there they go! There goes Norman. There goes everybody. No, they're not Norman. That's no, Sower Fox, Ryan Acosta, Callum Wood is out, as well as Blaine Keys. <laughs> Whoa, and, and, oh, oh, there, there goes, goes Sower Fox. <laughs> Crossing the line in style. And what did I say? We had six drivers down to two the last time there were six drivers on track. Well, we've only got two drivers left again. Next entry at number 33 will be the 42 of Tony Green making his Royal Rumble debut. And, well, we're kind of back to the drawing board of where we were about five, six rounds ago. <laughs> That's typical of the Royal Rumble. Very seldom does an elimination take place where it's only a single car. More than likely, there are a lot of innocent bystanders that are collected up, and that's just typical of Talladega, whether it's the Royal Rumble or a regular Cup Series, Xfinity, Truck Series, what have you at Talladega. So now it's Norman, Green, and Duncan, two of these drivers, former drivers of the Rumble. Tony Green is the green driver, if you will, in these this uh, trio trying to look here waiting for official scoring on the eliminations Eric Burton uh, by the way was eliminated by Callum Wood they're saying whoa Tony Green William Duncan closed there but as far as the four that were just eliminated Ryan Acosta his elimination credited to James Silver Fox Silver Fox's elimination as well as uh, Blaine Keys that was attributed to William Duncan and then the other driver that was eliminated in all of that, of course, um, who was that other one? Oh, Callum Wood, his elimination also credited to William Duncan. So Duncan with three eliminations. The other one, James Silverfox, get credited with one. As you got our next driver, Cody Lamas, on track in the 88. Entry number 34. Yep. Running the old school... Amp Energy 88 from 2009. Yep. Oh, well, he tried to get Duncan, but Duncan hangs on. Not quite as glamorous a save as Cooper Siron had back in the first quarter segment, but still a nice save by William Duncan. And of course, yeah, and of course, Duncan, I don't think he's going to be able to top anything past uh, what he did when he was able to get on the brakes, put it in reverse, and just barely stay in a couple of rounds ago. Interesting, too, Cody Lamas badly wanted to have the number 48 car for this rumble. If he had gotten it, he'd have come in at entry number 4. Taking the 88, he comes in 30 rounds later at entry number 34. As entry 35 is going to be, and I know I'm going to botch this name, Joshua Circuli, I believe, is how you would pronounce it. Making his debut here. <laughs> Making his debut here, so I... I'm sorry if I'm not saying your name correctly, but that's how I it. Have that happen. Yeah, that's how it looks to me. So I'm just gonna call it Circuli. Yeah, like I used to Circuli. call Dylan Thoreau Dylan Thoreau until I got. I think uh, there's some people Whoa. that call. Oh, Cody, and he's off, and so is Tony Green. I think Duncan's still in. I think he is. As a matter of fact, I'm not so certain he wasn't the one that eliminated them. We're gonna look here. Turns left into Cody. Wow, and Duncan almost eliminated himself. Keeps the two left side tires on the pavement. And there you see Tony Green collected as well. And they are crediting William Duncan with those two eliminations. So we now have a new elimination leader. That's the fourth and fifth eliminations for William Duncan. Jeez. Duncan's now trying to take what Dylan Ueva did last season and just slaughtering it. Boy, wait a minute. Actually, no. I'm incorrect. They're saying that's his sixth elimination. He's eliminated Wood, Keys. Oh, nope, nope. I'm sorry. Fifth. It is fifth. It is fifth. Wood, Keys. 
as well as Silver Fox, Green, and Llama. So he's at five, but that still is the current record as James Qualls in at entry number 36. Hopefully if Jessica Sheldon was up here in the booth, she'd play something for, for him. The barrel roll? Yeah. <laughs> Watch as soon as we say that he's gonna do that right now. Uh, if he does, then we've jinxed him and we must turn in our commentator's badges. Yep. It looked like William Duncan was thinking about yet another elimination, trying to get Joshua Circuli, but not gonna be able to. Is Circuli gonna get out in front here? Qualls was a little close back there, getting a little slideways out of four, but keeps it in bounds. And they're all going to make it to the next round. In comes entry number 37. And wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Entry number 37 is probably the driver with the most success in NCAA Royal Rumble history. Charles Jackson, who wasn't even slated, didn't even sign up. The two-time Royal Rumble winner it comes in at entry number 37. Wow, so Charles Jackson's going to wreck out here today. Apparently so. <laughs> I think we just ended up having our new favorite come into this Royal Rumble. Charles Jackson in his last three years. In season three, he won it. Season four, he won it. Season five, he made it into that final 10 lap segment. I think he ended up finishing third. No driver has ever been able to match his success in this event. And that is impressive. But Charles Jackson, I gotta admit, a lot of his success in those rumbles came due to a late entry. Today he comes in at entry number 37, and there's still over 40 drivers left to enter, so he's still, he's got quite a task on his hands, and William Duncan! And he's off! Oh, I thought he might save it. Duncan has eliminated himself. Well, remember before when I made the mistake of saying he had six eliminations, and instead he had five? Well, he now has six. And it was himself. It was himself. Well, that's one way to extend your record of the day as Matt Schreier comes in at number 38. This is uh, a driver that is in some way associated with Carson Gum. <laughs> oh, yeah, and also uh, <laughs> Duncan after his nation. <laughs> yeah, tough break there for Duncan as he will not be winning the Rumble, but... He may end up finishing out this rumble with the record for most eliminations. He currently sits atop that leaderboard with six eliminations. Behind him, Pichu London with four, as well as Callum Wood with four eliminations. Yeah, whoa, Qualls crowded Yikes. the 56. Ones. Yeah, Matt Schreier almost hooked the 70, but was able to keep it going, and then Schreier... Almost got, I think he got two tires down the apron, and that's kind of hard to bring it back up on the racing surface. Looks like they're all going to make it, and that will bring in entry number 39, our next to last driver in this segment. Before we get the red flag, and then we'll be getting ready for segment three, Johnny Gardner will be coming in at number 39. Hmm. Mr. Gardner. Kind of worth mentioning as well, you can tell the pressure is definitely mounting. Last segment, segment one, there was only one driver who did not complete a round. That was Benjamin Miles at entry number 19. So far in this race, we have had three drivers who have not completed a round. Max Neuwirth at entry 24, John Acosta at entry 26, and Eric Burton at entry 27. As Charles Jackson got up there in the grass, but I think he was able to just barely keep his car in bounds. Yeah. So you can tell the pressure's definitely mounting. Michael Norman's been in this for quite a bit. Entry 32, so this is his seventh round so far, and he's still in this thing. Mm-hmm. And As whoa! Oh, and Charles Gardner Jackson takes out Johnny Gardner! And now Gardner's gonna keep rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> oh, man, but Charles Jackson, there's the answer. The early, Olymp the early entry did not help his case and the two-time Royal Rumble winner will not be going for his third as here comes our final entry of this segment entry number 14 is going to be Kyle Collins in the Mizuzuki Resort Casino Chevrolet our last entry of segment two aka the Brad Keselowski car from Talladega 09 <laughs> how ironic the 09 at Talladega irony maybe possibly 
I don't know. Mm, maybe. <laughs> 30, the 39 car is not on track anymore, and the 99 is currently not on track yet, so that's at least some good news. Mm -hmm. So will someone try? Oh, and there goes Norman! Norman off the nose of Kyle Collins. Now he's back on track trying to get back up to speed. Remember, if a driver is eliminated, I never made this point yet in this event. If a driver is eliminated and they keep going, they can still eliminate other drivers before they get to the start finish line. So Norman could still eliminate somebody, even though he himself at this current moment is eliminated. And oh, there, goes there they go. There goes Sakuli. There goes Kyle Collins. There goes James Qualls. And after 40 entries, only one survives for the second half. That's the 56 of Matt Schreier. Wow. Oh my goodness. And that just proves the unpredictability of the Royal Rumble. Oh my goodness. So, Matt Schreier, the lone survivor from the first half of this thing. As we show you now, the first segment, Drivers, that shows you that everybody that came in entries 1 through 20 was eliminated. And we'll roll over now to the second segment running order here. And who in this stands out to you from the performance so far here that we saw in segment 2? Only Matt Schreier, who somehow is the last one remaining, but you can't discount Michael, or uh, not Michael Norman, William Duncan for getting uh, six eliminations despite eliminating himself. Exactly. I also got to give some credit there to Michael Norman, surviving almost into the next round, the next segment. Came in entry 32, but eliminated there by Kyle Collins on this entry number 40, round number 40. But as you said, Matt Schreier, the only one that's going to be surviving into the next segment. And of course, Charles Jackson thought maybe we'd see a little bit better of a performance out of him. Only survived two rounds in his return to the Royal Rumble. Pretty much due, I would think, to an early entry number. So next, folks, it will be segment number three. We'll see drivers numbers 41 through 60 before segment four, where we'll see the final 20 drivers get on track then after that, all the survivors will be racing in that final 10 lap segment. If you're coming in at entry numbers 41 through 60, Levi, what would your strategy probably be? Keep myself out in front. And what about if you came in at entry 61 through 80? Get myself up to the front. All right, so <laughs> apparently getting to the front. Yeah, I, I would have to agree with you on that, too, because we saw Michael Norman out in front for quite a number of those segments, and we saw how long he was able to survive. So we'll see what's going to happen. Want to wish you luck. We don't know what entry you're going to be coming in. It'll be somewhere between 41 and 80, so best of luck to you in either segment three or segment four. Hey, thank you, Seth. But don't forget, the one big moment of this segment was the Santino moment with Eric Burton. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Although I would say the William Duncan save was very close as well. Yep. But anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you'll tune in for segments three and four, which will be coming out very soon. For Seth Cole, Levi McIntyre, we're wishing you a good afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. And be sure to subscribe to Levi's channel as well. The link to his channel will be down in the description. So thanks guys for watching the continuation of the Royal Rumble. We'll be, ne we'll be back for segment three. And until then... Wish you a good day. Noot, noot.